Hi, I'm Lizzie Dagnan. I'm a rider for Trek Segafredo and I'd like to take you on a tour around our bus. Okay, so as you can see, we have lots of seating. Uh, usually you tend to find that different riders have their favorite seat. I like to be up front. I get travel sick, so this is my spot. Uh, but some of the younger girls are starting to fight me for it. Not too happy. Boombox, <laughs> essential. Uh, we have a few different DJs in the team. So if you're with me, then you get romantic ballads. But if you're with the Italians, yeah, some dodgy Italian rap. Um, most important part on the bus, hate to admit it, but it is the toilet. Uh, sink, toilet, uh, all the usual stuff that comes with a toilet, but it is pretty much a big advantage in a race where uh, it can often be hard to find toilets and other teams are stuck in a camper or worse still, to the back of a car. They have to go off looking for public toilets. So we're pretty lucky with that one. Um, and then you can see this is kind of a workspace where uh, at the end of a race, we will have post-race meals prepared for us by the Swaniers. So often that's something very simple, rice, omelette. Uh, you find your recovery shakes here as well. Um, Usually we have olive oil, salt, uh, different sauces and flavours which you find in the fridge. You can have a look in the fridge. Um, packed full of yeah, water, yoghurt, um, snacks that anyone comes and goes to get what they want during, during the days that you're stuck in the hotel waiting for the race to happen. Uh, that's where you find good snacks. We also of course have the coffee machine, being Trek Segafredo. <laughs> uh, it's very important that we all have coffee, that's essential. Um, yeah, and then all of these cupboards, storage, you'll find things like uh, towels, and the showers, printer, TV, um, just kind of anything that we might need when we're on the road really. Um, and this bus is the responsibility of the bus driver. Our bus driver is a ratty uh, and she takes this bus all around Europe and treats it like her baby. So you've got to be respectful in the bus. <laughs> uh, this is our shower. Again, really a nice uh, bonus and advantage. There's two showers in here, makes it pretty uh, easy and quick for everyone to get clean and showered after the race. Often we're straight to the airport, so it's a nice luxury to have a shower. Um, and then we move into the back of the bus. And this is basically a communal space where we do all of our team meetings. Um, our race director will often put details of the route up on the TV so we can all discuss it. Um, and yeah, get ready for the stage. Then you'll find across the back here, we have everybody's wet bag. Um, so it's each rider's responsibility to make sure that in these rain bags, which are placed in the race car during the race, that they have anything they may need um, if the weather changes. Or you, say you have a crash, you break a shoe, you need to have your spare pair of shoes in your rain bag in the race car. If they're not there, then you're out of the race and it's your responsibility. So um, yeah, that's about it, I think. This is our home from home. <laughs>